What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have a trade video and a response video. Um, made a trade with George the Collector for some 78 tops. I traded him some heritage for his sets and he sent me his leftover 78s that he had. So pretty sweet deal for me I think. And he also included some Mattingly's, so that makes it even sweeter. And he included a note. Um, Eric, a.k.a. Hedgehog, a.k.a. George, since my first name is George. Here's a stack of 78s to get you going. Some well-loved ones in there for sure. A few Mattingly cards in there too. So, really appreciate that. And looking forward to future trades. Me as well. Thank you very much, George. And... That's some incredible penmanship. Uh, even my print is not very legible, so that's why I, I typically do not include notes in my care packages. So, we have got to get into these matting leaves here. Alright, very cool. There's a lot of these stickers that I do not have. So, we got Wade Boggs on the back of that one. So Magley with, um, I don't, I don't know who those guys are. Um, the name's escaping me. Very cool. I may have one of those, but I, I know I don't have all three. And, oh wow, this is numbered out of a hundred. Thank you very much. That is awesome. So that is 33 out of a hundred. That is, that's crazy. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you very much. more here the collector's choice is 94 upper deck very very cool and another manning layout of the 20 donner us nice shine on that very cool but man really really appreciate the numbered card there George thank you that is awesome Be back in one second. My dog is going crazy. We're not going to go through every single 78 in here, but I at least got to open up one of these and see what we got. These are pretty sweet. These are pretty nice. A little miscut with a crease there, but hey, it works just fine. Uh, a lot of these are actually in pretty decent shape. Do not own too many of the 78s. I uh, need to work on picking up some of those set. There's an Orioles team card. Very cool. Shout out to Corey, ripping for Ripkins. He's collecting those Orioles team cards. Paul Blair. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Somebody changed it to. Uh, first base either got moved or uh, maybe that was a uh, error card and they decided to correct it for tops 
Very cool. Thank you, George. I really appreciate the 78s, and that will be a big help when I get started on that set. Or, I guess, I, I guess I've already gotten started on that set. Alright, so next up is... Made a... Well, not really a trade, but I'm going to send him some things I, I know he can use. Brian of Car Chart Brakes. He reached out... Um, not too long ago asking what sets I was working on and he was able to help me out with the 77 and he basically knocked out my uh, 2019 heritage which um, he did warn me he said that there would be a few of those that are very much off-centered and um, here's one of the off-centered ones um, I don't think I ever saw any of the heritage that were that bad um actually it's so bad i think it's kind of cool so i'm just i'm not even going to replace them i'm just going to consider the set done there's only about three or four of them that are like that uh, i may throw a note in with the the box so that 20 years from now when my estate's being sold whoever's buying it will will know what to expect um so, and then uh, he's he also completed the uh, 77 set that I'm I'm working on, and he had some duplicates duplicates that he was able to send my way. So some pretty nice ones. And I didn't realize it when I first got the set, but my set was completely missing all team cards and all checklist cards. There's a mini Minoso and a Ken Griffey. Guess not the kid, but the dead. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any checklists, none of the uh, team cards, which was really weird. And there are some, like the, the Yaz there is a, a bit well-loved in uh, this rookie's card, but actually they're they're fine with me. And the uh, They will work just fine. So I really appreciate that, Brian. Go... Uh, for one, go check out George's channel. Um, he's got some great TTM videos, something that I really enjoy and something that I'd really like to get into, but I, uh, I'm lazy getting started. So uh, definitely go check out George. Uh, go check out Brian. Um, he's, Brian's not done videos in a while, but he's got some great videos that you can go back and watch. Um, he's had some career changes and a lot of moving um, but I think he may be getting back into the, the YouTube video scene here soon. So I hope so. So anyways, links will be below. Go check those guys out. And, um, yeah, move the, put Mangley back here for the uh, response video. So next up is a response for Shoebox Legends. For one, that is a very cool name. I really like that. He's having a 100 subs contest. Congrats, by the way, on that, which I think you're closer to 150 now. And definitely go check him out. I've caught up on a few of his videos, but his videos are very, very well done. Um, really enjoy his content, so go check him out. Uh, link, obviously, is going to be down below for him. Um, he's asking for a sentimental card. Have plenty of those. Um, He's also asking for a sentimental item that is not a card. That right there is basically my entire garage, so I've got that covered as well. Um, the card is going to be tough. Um, I just used a card in a previous video, so I, I want to be a little bit different. And I almost went with an 84 Topps Magnally that I got from my uncle, but I'd use that in another video. Here lately I've been, uh, I guess, kind of thinking a lot about my parents I'm going with a card that reminds me of my mom a lot and it's going to be kind of a weird one but uh I guess so my the first cards I ever got were from a mom that she picked up at a yard sale and they were 1977 and 1980 this unfortunately is not one of those original cards those are all long gone um I got rid of them as a kid stupidly I very much regret it, but um, anyways, when I first came back into the hobby about a year and a half ago, I uh, 
I went through trading card database and looked at all the pictures and every one, every card that stood out to me, I, I got those cards. I mean, I picked those cards up before I even picked up the King Griffey Jr. upper deck rookie or the George Brett rookie that I had to have. You know, I, I went back and I picked up cards like these that, that reminded me of my childhood. And there were several of them, but the one, the one thing that sticks out about Fred Stanley is, um, as a kid, I was probably seven or eight, and I was convinced that this was our neighbor. <laughs> that my he was a farmer along with my dad, and um, I was convinced that you know my neighbor was actually Fred Stanley, and I would constantly bug my mom about it. Um, knowing my mom, she probably just told me what I wanted to hear one time to get me to shut up. But anyways, I was convinced Fred Stanley was my neighbor, and I don't know. It's just a card that always sticks out to me so it's it's one of the first first cards i got when i came back into the hobby and it's a card that even though it's not the card that my mom gave me because those are long gone it's still one that so uh yeah even though it's not the the exact card it's still one that very much makes me think of her so uh so now for a collectible or possession that is not a card, and it is on the wall right here. Let me grab it. Um, I've got about as many of those possessions as I do cards, but um, I'm choosing this. This is an old oil change sheet that um, was from my father's garage, and... Um, He always wrote down oil changes. Um, um, so I remember helping my dad, you know, many times clean up the garage. We threw away so many of these types of papers. And my dad made little notes and sketches about everything that he built. Um, if he was welding up a special tool he needed to do a job, he would jot down little notes and things. You know, we never thought to save any of that stuff. I mean, my dad tossed it. I tossed it if I was helping him clean out the garage. Um, I'm not even sure how this here survived. Um, it's, um, it just, it, it means a lot. Um, and I even found a, uh, old firing order for a 67 Ford that he jotted down. So I stuck that in here. Um. The only thing that's not his handwriting is um, I uh, apparently made some some notes about when I changed the oil in apparently a, a car as well. I guess the uh, looks like it was the 86 Blazer. Um, so I wish my handwriting wasn't on there, but it is what it is. Um, it seemed silly at the time to, you know, you just never think you're going to want something like this I guess and it's one of the coolest things I think uh I have hanging up out here in the garage is this right here so um so yeah like I said not sure how it survived but very much glad it did and I I do ch keep an oil change sheet but you know my oil change sheet is on google sheets so I don't know I may uh start handwriting those again so that is what i got for you today um a bit of a long video but uh go check out shoebox legends um you'll definitely love love his videos he does a great job um i need to catch up on some more of his videos and i also encourage you to go check out george the collector and brian of card shark breaks take care and have a great day